Hey, good morning. This is Pastor Steve Mapp, and I'm so delighted that you've taken some time this morning to join us for our devotional for this Friday, uh, October the 8th. It's always great to have you with us and appreciate so much the opportunity to come to you uh, in this way. A few weeks ago, uh, when I was with you last, I was talking about uh, my experience with uh, my Monday morning Bible study group uh, and that we had been studying and are studying in the book of Exodus and um, had gotten to that point in the study about the Passover meal. And, and this past Monday, I was with uh, that group of men uh, again, and uh, we've, uh, we've continued, of course, our study in Exodus. And, and I was reading a passage uh, with those gentlemen, and we got some uh, great discussion going out of a, a certain passage. And I wanted to, to share something with you this morning as a result of that. So I'm reading really from Exodus chapter 13 and verses 17 and following. And this is at the point where, uh, uh, just after the, of course, the Passover event, and the Israelites have now fled Egypt under Moses' direction, and of course, Pharaoh will uh, come after them. Uh, so here are the verses for this morning. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them by way of the land of the Philistines, although that was near. For God said, lest the people change their minds when they see war, and returned to Egypt. But God led the people around by the way of the wilderness toward the Red Sea. And the people of Israel went up out of the land of Egypt equipped for battle. Moses took the bones of Joseph, Joseph with him, for Joseph had made the sons of Israel solemnly swear, saying, God will surely visit you, and you shall carry up my bones with you out from here. And they moved on from Succoth and encamped at Etham, on the edge of the wilderness. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them along the way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, that they might travel by day and by night. The pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night did not depart before the people." What a wonderful passage. Um, here's where I want to go this morning. God is always leading us. Uh, his timing is always perfect. And I think that what uh, the Exodus experience for the Israelites is teaching them and certainly us um, is that in fulfilling um, our success, in fulfilling our future. There are three important responsibilities for us. The first is, is that we need to follow the Lord. And note in this particular passage, just those seven or eight verses that I read, the number of times we hear the word God led them. Uh, he did not lead them one way. He led them this way. Um, and of course, what God is, is asking uh, the Israelites to do is to follow his lead. And there's the pillar of cloud by day in front of them and the pillar of fire by night so that they can continue to move. And God surrounds them always. And so the first message to me is, is that in order for us to be, uh, to live a successful, fulfilling life, it requires first and foremost, that we follow the Lord, uh, that we are obedient in our following. And, you know, sometimes we get stuck in this situation where, where we, want, uh, we want God to, to move more quickly for us uh, than perhaps things are, uh, are, are moving. Um, we find ourselves um, wanting uh, something, uh, wanting to be in a certain position or wanting something to happen. And we, you know, we pray and we want it on our time. Um, but it really is that we're in God's waiting room. Uh, God has us there. And, and throughout that time, he's preparing us uh, for what he has in store for us as we follow his lead. So here's the second piece. And this is something the Israelites really struggled with, uh, as I think sometimes we all do, and that is trusting the Lord's way. Uh, we certainly know um, that throughout that 40 years in the wilderness that uh, oftentimes 
uh, their trusting in the Lord's way. They faltered from that. And of course, when they did, uh, there were perilous times uh, that they experienced because they stopped following the Lord's lead. So the second important thing, of course, is for us to put our complete trust in the Lord. And then finally, uh, I find this to be true. Um, we need to continually praise God for all of the things that, that he's given us and for having our best interest in his heart. Um, you know, this, uh, this uh, pillar of, of, of cloud in the day and, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the pillar of fire at night, to me, uh, they just paint this complete picture of, of, of God just surrounding us all the time. Uh, with his love and with his purpose for our lives, we need to follow him and we need to trust his way is right. And then as we experience that, we need to give him praise. Um, wow. Praise him, praise him uh, each and every day uh, for the love that he shares with us, uh, the gifts that he's given us, the way that he's prepared for us. Uh, it deserves our praise, our continuous praise. What a wonderful message from this book of Exodus today and, and these three important things for us to, to do in, in, in living out God's life for us, following him, trusting him, praising him. Um, wow. I hope you've been able to join us on Sundays. Uh, Dr. Benjamin is leading us through the book of Ruth. This week he'll be preaching out of chapter 3 from the book of Ruth and and wow, what a wonderful, powerful example of, of following God's way uh, and how Ruth did that and, and God's preparation of the way and, and, and Boaz. What a wonderful story um, and just how, uh, uh, how that praise will come about uh, as a result of, of God's leading. Um, powerful, powerful message. Uh, coming out of chapter three this week, and I look forward to, to hearing uh, Dr. Benjamin. Uh, hey, thanks so much for joining me this morning. Always a pleasure to be with you. Um, pray for you always, praying that God will continue to bless you and that you will continually uh, follow his lead, trust in his way, and give him the praise. Thanks for joining me this morning. May God bless you. I'll see you soon.